Hello friends, welcome to a new lecture. Now I would like to discuss about the fracture of forearm bones. So what are the forearm bones? This can be ulna or radius. So this is the radius. Or uh, this can also be This can also be ulna, okay? Now, uh, whenever there is fracture of the radia and ulna together, mostly they are, they are fractured together. Either radius or ulna, they are fractured together most commonly. So, this, uh, whenever there is fracture of radius and ulna, this is a fracture where there is not much displacement because to the shaft of radius, very less muscles are attached. And also, there is a muscle cover around the radius bone and as a result because of those two reasons the attachment of muscles the insertions or origins of the muscles is less in the shaft and though it is present uh, the whole uh, radius and ulna it is surrounded by a group of muscles which will provide anchorage of both the fractures so as a result there is very less uh, displacement uh, less incidence of displacement in fracture of forearm bones. So what are the causes of forearm? For forearm fractures, one, if you see this is the hand, elbow, okay. Uh, this can be because of direct blow of lati on the forearm. Whenever a lati hits on the forearm, even then this can cause a fracture or whenever there is a hit, indirect force where there is fall on head. If the person falls from the uh, building, and if he falls on the head, even then there is a force which transmits to the uh, radius thus causing, uh, radius and ulna thus causing fracture of uh, forearm bones. Now, uh, let us learn about the displacements. Mostly it is undisplaced or severely displaced, mostly undisplaced or uh, mildly displaced, mostly undisplaced or mild displacement. Sometimes if you see severe displacement can be seen. Severe displacement is most common in, in adults. Whereas in children, mild or undisplacement is common in children. Okay. Now, uh, if you see the displacement, there can be, in the displacement, there can be angulation. There can be shift. In any direction or there can be sometimes rotation you can see angulation or shift or location rotation in the displacement how are you go how does the patient comes to us patients comes to us sorry patient come to us with uh, uh, patients come to us with uh, history of pain uh, in the elbow joint in the uh, in the forearm anywhere in the forearm where the uh, according to the site of the fracture the site of the pain differs uh, there is history of pain and swelling at the site of the fracture and uh, on examination you can find uh, uh, there is tenderness then you will order for an x-ray in the x-ray you can x-ray with uh, x-ray of forearm including the elbow joint and the wrist joint in this you will find the uh, presence of uh, a fractured line that, that is what you see in x-ray now how are you going to treat it treatment mostly we do conservative if it's undisplaced and mildly displaced we'll just do a conservative treatment mostly it is conservative treatment only in adults with severe displacement here you will do open reduction and internal fixation only in adults and that too in severe displacement cases only then you will do open reduction and internal fixation or else you will mostly you will do a conservative treatment so in conservative treatment, you'll have to, if it's in, even in conservative treatment, if it's mildly displaced, then you'll have to do a closed reduction. And then you will have to put a, an above elbow slab. Okay, an, an above elbow plaster cast is put. Okay, this should, this, this plaster cast which is put, that should be applied till the forearm fill till the forearm okay uh, if not you can also do open reduction and internal fixation um, so this is about the fracture of forearm bones so thank you guys for watching my lecture if you have any doubts please comment in the comment section
वन मिनट आई फोर गॉट टू टेल अबाउट द कॉम्प्लिकेशन दीज आर द ट्रीटमेंट एंड एस्पेक्ट आर कम्प्लीटेड ना कॉम्प्लिकेशन इन द कॉम्प्लिकेशन वन देर कैन बी इन्फेक्शन वेन एवर देर इज इन्फेक्शन इट कैन प्रोग्रेस टू ऑस्ट्रिया माइलाइटिस एंड देन देर कैन बी माल यूनियन बिकॉज बोथ द फ्रैक्चर्स इफ दे आर एट द सेम लेवल देन देर इज अ चांस दैट देर कैन बी माल यूनियन समटाइम्स यू कैन इवन सी दैट देर इज क्रॉस यूनियन सो वॉट इज क्रॉस यूनियन देर इज दिस दिस फ्रैगमेंट ऑफ रेडियस इट विल um uh, fuse with the distal proximal fragment of radius fuses with the distal fragment of ulna and the proximal fragment of ulna fuses with the distal fragment of radius and this results in a fracture like this which is called as cross fracture and sometimes there can be delayed union or even mal union can be seen so these are the different complications of fracture of forearm bones thank you guys for watching my lecture thank you